Science 101. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how we lead with our energy. Your energy about you is a field around you. Um, you can do a little experiment to see how far out your energy goes by getting a friend to stand in front of you maybe 10 feet apart and invite them to let you know when they feel your energy. As you start slowly walking towards them, they will let you know when they feel your energy and that'll give you a sense of how, how far out your energy field is felt by others. The reason that that's important is because you may have heard the expression, it doesn't matter what you say, it's how you say it. It doesn't matter what you do. It's the energy underneath the actions that you take that have a profound effect on the outcome and also the influence on or effect uh, on other people around you. This came up the other day, just this memory of this situation came up the other day where um, I was reminded of a situation a few years ago where I had to go into this particular environment where there are clerks, you know, so it could be something like the DMV. And at the, here in the U.S., it's the driver's government agency and typically they're not really happy people <laughs> and so it's not a pleasant place to be and I needed to go in there for a reason <laughs> and I was not happy about it at all I was not happy I didn't want to be there I I was full of just disgust and not good feelings at all and when it was my time to go up to this clerk she wasn't happy I wasn't happy it didn't go well it didn't go well so there was something I was missing and she said I had to come back with this something else that she needed so I was now extra frustrated because I would have to go back <laughs> so the next day I walked in and while I was waiting I just decided to close my eyes and think about something wonderful absolutely wonderful so I thought about my son when he was little tiny and he was so cute and I just took myself deliberately through all these memories of holding him and us laughing together and I got myself just in this incredibly loving, happy, joyful state. With my eyes closed, it was regardless of where I was because with my eyes closed, I was where I was with my little son. <laughs> so it didn't matter. So now here I am in, in this incredible state for myself with a big smile on my face. And then it was my turn to go up to the window. And as I stood up and came around the corner and saw the clerk, as I came around the corner, she literally went, ah, hi. <laughs> and I was at least still 10 feet away from her and no one else was around. So she felt my energy from a very far distance and then as I walked towards her I was aware that we were she was now in sort of enveloped you know in my bubble of happiness and joy <laughs> she never took the smile off of her face and it was she was thanking me for changing her day kind of thing um, everything went well for me <laughs> that day and it just made such a huge and profound difference in the experience really for both of us to get myself in that state so 
kind of what I've carried with me, I continue to carry this with me, is that we lead with our state. The day before I had a horrible state, and if it was that big, that would have affected her too, from a distance. But with this positive, wonderful state, that affected her as well. And it just seemed to affect everything in the dynamics of, you know, sort of the, you know, the reason that I was there. It helped that as well in wonderful ways, wonderful, wonderful ways. So be mindful of your state. So if you are have something that you need to do today, and it can this is just like going to get a driver's license kind of thing. Um, if it were, but it, it can apply to anything at all. So any time you go out and about today, be mindful of your state. Maybe even before you leave the house, just kind of close your eyes for a minute and get yourself into a, you know, deliberately mm, remember some really great memories of maybe depending on what your situation is for the day I just wanted to be in a loving state maybe you want to get yourself into a very empowered state so remember a time when you felt empowered and allow that memory to affect your state as you then go about your day it makes a huge difference have you ever experienced that have you ever you know, either noticed that your state made a difference or gone through the experience of deliberately changing your state. If so, please share. I'd love to uh, learn more about uh, some of the ways that you guys um, manage your energy as understanding that we lead with that. Anyone else is going to feel our energy first. That's what people tend to respond to. So, I hope you have a great day today. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you soon.